Hey, what's going on guys? So check it out. A little while ago, I was doing some playing, some practicing. I recorded this little doodle thing I was doing and I was playing a C sharp minor pentatonic scale and just using some different elements to make it not so boring. Okay, so that was a clip that I was referring to. It's actually pretty simple. Well, the concept is pretty simple. Just a C-sharp minor pentatonic scale and just a little flavor and some spices added to it, if you know what I mean, right? So let's get into it. C-sharp minor pentatonic scale. We all should know what that is. All right, so I ended on G-sharp, which is the octave of the fifth. But if we were to keep going as far as chord tones, to count that up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve right so that's just the fifth the octave of the fifth so the 12 and the five is the same exact thing uh what was the rule that i showed you guys just subtract that chord tone um subtract seven from that chord tone and you'll get it so what's 12 minus seven five boom okay so we have the octave of the five so i'm ending on the g sharp so i wanted to keep that note my constant okay so that's playing throughout every single chord that i play so let me just play the chords that i did so I did uh, first, and those were the one, two, three, four, four chords. Okay, so we have, and then you can do this with anything. I was really just, you know, experimenting with the different chords that I can use, and that combination that I came up with was one of my favorites. So I just stuck with that. But I could have did so many more things. So, or. You know what I mean? I just, um, you know, I could have moved that around and what my experimentation was moving the single chord tone up or down. You know, and then later on figuring out what that chord name is, right? <laughs> Not worried about so much about what the chord is, but how it feels. OK, so I want you to get that in your head first. If it feels good to you, you know, stick with it. Then you can figure out what you're doing later. You know, I just like to stick with that method or that model. OK, so um, I play these chords. They felt good. They sounded good um, when I was playing them and just messing around and I stuck with them. OK, so let's just break these chords down first. All right. So C minor pentatonic scale, C sharp minor pentatonic scale. So we got one, two. Okay, when I play that before I hit that G sharp, I'm playing the chord along with it. So, okay, so that goes together. Next time around, so the same exact chord. If you notice, that note is staying the same. That is my common note and my chord tone that I'm using for every single chord. That G sharp, no matter what chord I play, I want it to have that inside of the chord as my top note. Okay, so the first chord, A major seven, simple chord. This I'm using the sixth note of that C sharp minor pentatonic scale, or the sixth note of the C minor natural minor scale, C sharp natural minor scale. Keep, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> All right, so if I use a major a minor pentatonic or a minor natural minor scale, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a sixth note, and I get a major seven. Okay. And it works perfectly, it works fine, it works great. The next time around. Okay, so that chord is actually a pretty weird chord, especially on bass. I had to play it a different way to be able to have that common note be my G sharp. So the way I like to think about this chord, I like to think about it as a like an A flat over a B flat. Okay, so like an A flat major chord, but just a a B flat on the bottom. Okay, so you get it? So and that would be like written as a slash chord. It will be 
A flat slash B flat. Okay, so same chord. This is almost like an inversion of the chord, but, I'm, but my B flat is still on the bottom, right? So the notes, the notes there, I have B flat, D, G sharp, right? B flat, D, G sharp, or A flat. Okay, very weird chord, but if I play it, uh, wrong note. Same notes. Uh, okay, so if you want to mess around with that chord, uh, it just sounded nice. I could have easily did a, a minor seven chord there. So I could have did a B flat minor seven. That would have worked. So you know, would have worked fine. But I was like, I'm Derek. I got to go outside of the box, right? <laughs> so. I just move that down. So if you want to, uh, position wise, you want to think about that. So B flat minor seven chord, if I'm playing it this way in this position with the third finger for the bass, you can move that note a half step down, all right? So you're actually playing the second note of that scale of B flat to, that, to the C. I just like that tension that it held. You know what I mean? It wasn't even a part of the, it wasn't even a part of the C sharp natural minor scale or the c-sharp pentatonic scale so it was just a note outside of it so i just wanted to add that a little bit of flavor flavor but anyway next chord e flat or e major triad sorry i keep mixing these notes up e major triad very simple but i'm playing it this way it's weird weird so i'm playing the g, the g sharp here or the a flat here and then i have B here and then I have my open E so I, would, I guess that E major triad so that would be E B G sharp okay same way Let me make sure I'm in make sure I'm in tune I was talking about changing strings and tuning up and everything a little bit earlier uh, and the importance of you know some of the elements that you need to know after you change your strings but we'll get into that a little bit later so that's why my strings are going a little bit out of whack so I need to practice what I preach right? so anyway uh, that so so far we have major 7 uh, a flat over B flat um, and this let me let me explain that a flat over B flat a little bit more so when I play this chord I have an a flat major chord but I'm not playing that five. I'm got the root, third, fifth, right? I'm not playing the five, so that's why it's just very open. I, I mean, with playing the bass, having these open chords and these open tones are so important to me as far as these different intricate chord tones uh, because it can get muddy really, really, really quick. So I like to leave them open, so I don't want to play the fifth note. I mean, even though that sounds really pretty, um, uh, it still can be muddy in some situations. So I just like to keep it open and omit that five, okay? So it's just a very open, it sounds like a nine chord, um, because technically it's all, it almost is because if you're playing a B flat, that nine will be your two, right? Take away seven from nine, it will be two, it'll be the C as well. And I have that inside, okay? But anyway, I like to think of it as, a, as an A flat over B flat. So, here we go, A major seven. A flat over B flat, E major, D diminished, okay? Okay, so diminished seven chord. So I'm playing that B, like a B diminished seven chord with a D on the bass, okay? Do you get that? So the notes that I have here, I have B, oh no, sorry, I have D, B, G sharp. version way like I can use that like I said I'm, I'm I'm playing that because I wanted that B to be on the, the keep saying that I wanted the D to be on the bottom or as my bass note so I can lead back to the C sharp you know what I mean so it just as far as voice leading it, it just led me right there uh, just a half step away from where I wanted to be so you can play that I can play that several different ways and I could have played that differently so I have major seven, um, I could have played it. 
because I have the same exact notes. Think about it. I have the same exact notes. I have B, D, G sharp. I have B, D, G sharp, right? So I'm just using, I'm just moving that up a half step or I can move this down. I can move this down a half step or I can move this. <laughs> I can just move all of these notes around to actually have that same exact chord. It's just a different way to play it. All right, we have all of these different styles and different ways to play. So it's like a, a playing a B uh, minor, uh, B diminished seven chord. All right, and I can play it that way too. So let me try it with that way. So. Yeah, I, I could have played a B minor seven there, uh, but I wanted to uh, put that note in it because it was expected. It would have been too pretty, right? I don't know. I just love the that tension that it created uh, with that chord. So those are the chords. Um, <laughs> I'm just using a, a major seven, B flat, uh, A flat over B flat. A major triad and diminished seven chord. That's it.